Hello and welcome to today's Alchemy Coffee Break session. Today's topic will be the new features in Catalyst 9.0 with a specific accent on features linked with reusing translation. So among the new features of Catalyst 9.0 we have a couple of features that will um, help translators and translation companies centralize all their translation assets and be more efficient while reusing text that is already been translated. I think the simplest thing to do will be to have a quick look at this. So the first step is I'm going to have a quick look at my current situation. I'm translating a product called the Acme product and in the past I have done version 7 and 8. So I have version 7 and 8 in French but I also um, manage, shall we say, the Italian and Japanese version 8. So I have quite a lot of TTKs as you can see in my archive. Now this is over the course of two updates. Now you can imagine what it would be if I've been working with the same company for a couple of years. I would have a lot of different TTKs for a specific customer and it would be really useful to be able to centralize all of this. And this is where the Alchemy TM format, which is a new file format we've introduced with Catalyst 9, comes into play. To create such a format, in this case I am, you know, I'm about to do version 9 and I want to have one location with all of my legacy material instead of having to pick and choose from a large number of TTKs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start Catalyst, which I've done, and I'm going to run the cleanup expert. The cleanup expert will allow me to select the TTKs I want to clean up. In this case, all of the TTKs I've done previously. Click on open. This has selected all of the TTKs. And I'm going to create a new TM file. So I'll just find, create a new file. So we'll call it Acme product and call this TM. Because I'm going to store my French, Italian and Japanese files in it, I don't need to put a language pair. I will click on open. And I'm now ready to clean all the content of my TTKs into that TM file. I won't extract the files because I don't need to and I won't remove the graphics from that desktop TM because I know I do actually have translated graphics in my TTKs and I want to keep those. So we'll click on OK. And Catalyst will now take all of the TTKs, extract all of the strings for translation with the metadata. It is very important to realize that all of the metadata that is required during leverage will be moved from, will be taken from the TTK and added to the TM file, which means you will be able to create perfect matches. And as we will see in a moment, you will be able to get um, dialog box resized. So you can really finalize your TTK before cleaning it up into a TM file. So here what we have done is we have created that TM file. A quick distinction actually between a TTK and a TM file is that the TM file will not let you rebuild the uh, translated files. So all of the binary information required to rebuild the files is left in the TTK and doesn't move to the TM file. This is not their purpose. Their purpose is to centralize all of the translation assets that you have. I have now a centralized location for all of my translation assets. If we have a look at the network, it's actually here in at the root of my Acme product folder. So I am now ready to start working with version 9. Let's open the version 9 software and probably run a leverage expert. So we can see that our dialog boxes are getting leveraged and resized as we expect them to be. So I'm pointing to my TM file. So my only TM will be the .tm file. I will not use any other TTKs. And I will click on OK. Catalyst will then do, you know, the usual leverage. We go through all of the items and resize as well, translate as we can. Now that we're complete, we have a partially translated file. And if we have a quick look at the dialog boxes, we will see they've all been signed off, meaning that, you know, those dialog boxes haven't been changed from version 8 or 7. It can be either and the current version. So I'm able to select a, a string and see that everything has been translated. If I look at the size information, let me make this a little bit bigger, you will see that the dialog box has been resized. Now in this case I've actually exaggerated 
the resizing in the previous version so that we can see that this is actually happening. Likewise, in 1002, I've actually made it a lot higher when there's no need for it, just so you can see that, you know, the source file was slightly uh, was smaller, basically. So all of the information has been used and the metadata has allowed us to actually resize the dialog box. You have perfect matches from an Alchemy TM. So this TM format allows you, is very useful, say, for uh, freelance translators, by example, who may have quite a lot of TTKs belonging to a specific customer, and they will be able to centralize all of that information and have it very handy whenever they get the next project from that customer. For small localization company or localization companies, actually, it's quite useful because it allows you to centralize all of your assets in multiple languages. So once again, you have one file. If you combine that with the scheduler, which will be the subject of another uh, new feature demo, you will be able to create the localization kits for all the languages very quickly and also you won't have to select that many files and look for files everywhere. So this um, Alchemy TM and the scheduler, which you know you can see in the other video, will actually help you prepare those localization kit much faster. But back to the topic at hand, which is the reuse of translation. Another feature that is new in version 9 is the recycle translation feature, which you will see enabled here in this little um, toolbar. And recycle translation, actually before I show you, I will not turn off the translation memory. Um, will allow you to click on a string, by example, and immediately get a match. Now, this match is not coming from the TM because it's deactivated, but it's coming from the current TTK. So even though the content of a current TTK is always changing, we have now been able to use those as a translation memory, just like any other translation memory. Obviously, the indexing is happening uh, on the fly all the time, but the, the end result is that this, this TM is completely usable just as another TM would be for the translator. And just like any other TM, not only will it give you a perfect match, well, 100% matches, which will be repetitions, but you will also be able to see fuzzy matches on repetitions, which means that even though this string is not exactly identical, so in the old process, when you use duplicate filter, it would not have been highlighted by the, the filter, you can still reuse the translation inside it and slightly modify it to um, reuse it. So as you can see, we are now able to deal with um, repetitions seamlessly. You don't have to run a filter and use those uh, tools to, to do the translation of duplicates. You will simply start with the first one. When you get to the next one, Catalyst will uh, offer it to you as repetitions. While we're in this XLIF file, actually, let's have a quick look at a uh, thing. If I click on this uh, string here, you will see that the, the font is changing and the, um, there is a, a black box around the text. Essentially, because XLIF file allow you, XLIF files allow you to add metadata to the strings, things like the amount of pixels you have to display the string and the font you use to display the string, we're able to give you a rough estimate, a good estimate actually, of the size of the string and also the space you have, which means the translator are now able to give a translation that is, you know, that will have a little bit more, that it doesn't have to be um, truncated and, you know, that means they know what space they have and they will be able to make sure that their translation, the best translation possible is used for that specific space. Finally, and this will be the last thing we'll show you during this demo, um, we have added a few accelerators. So first I'm going to re-enable my translation memory because I want to show you that we can run a concordance search simply right-clicking on a string and immediately looking for it inside the TTK. The TTK or any translation memory. I can select a word and only run a concordance search on this specific word. And as you can see, all I need to do is right-click. I don't have to do copy and paste. I don't have to type in the word again. So these are little accelerators that will help you be that little bit faster especially when you're looking for context. Another option, you can right-click and get a dictionary match. So this essentially will just query one of those online dictionaries and show you what you can get from it.
and what we have here is we have a tra you know the definition of the word translator earlier because it didn't find definition it went on to ask.com just to see if we can find some information now these um, remaining accelerators that you will see here with the blue symbol are actually customizable so you can change and you can decide where those link will take you which means that that allows you to use your own term base or your own dictionary your own reference material if you have some yourself okay so this pretty much concludes our demonstration and Amongst the new feature in Catalyst 9, a few were designed for translator and helping translators be more productive and also giving them more information. Among which, obviously, the Alchemy Desktop TM allows translators and translation companies to centralize all of their assets without having to resort to things like a, um, a server-based solution. The Recycle Translation feature will allow you to reuse the content of the current gloss of current TTK, sorry, and will keep up to date. Will be kept up to date. The index will also be kept up to date with the evolution of the TTK. And finally, we've added a good few accelerators that will help you find more context information at the click of a mouse. If you have any questions on any of the topics we've covered today, or any of the um, or on anything concerning new features in Catalyst 9 or Catalyst in itself, please don't hesitate to contact us in at info at alchemysoftware.ie. In the meantime, thank you very much for taking the time and have a nice day. Goodbye.